Hello everybody, Peter Gantner here. We are back with a new video. This time it is on layer zero. Now, all the other videos that we've done have had a token in the marketplace. Layer zero currently does not. So why are we doing a video on it? We believe that this is going to be a transformative project that the value that it creates will be tremendous. And currently right now, you can line yourself up with getting what's called an airdrop. For people that don't know crypto, for you people that do know crypto, you know exactly what an airdrop is. This has the potential to be a significant airdrop. And there's lots of videos. I'm not going to get into the how-tos and all that stuff with it. Um, we actually have a service, DFY, where we get it done for you. So this is going to be a great opportunity, though, for people to be involved. So let's dive in to layer zero and let's look and see why I believe it has tremendous opportunity or tremendous potential to be a huge project in the future. This is not financial advice, guys. This is for entertainment and educational purposes. I'm going to do a brief overview so then you can then go do an in-depth research. Anytime that you put anything or any time or effort, energy, any finances towards any project, you should do your own research and don't listen to anybody that tells you to do something on the internet, right? Hey, figure it out for yourself. Look at the information. So I'm going to help walk you through that. All right, so let's jump in. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and we're going to jump right into layer zero. Okay, so it's permissionless interoperability. So one of the big issues, and I actually just went through this. So I was working on a project that's on Mantle, okay? Um, I didn't have any assets in my Mantle wallet. Um, I had to go get USDE. I had to get Mantle in there. Uh, you know, um, I sent over some Ethereum, wrapped Ethereum at first. So I had to go to three or four different sites to collect everything together, then to go take action. The idea behind Layer Zero is to connect everything together and eliminating using traditional bridges. Now, you're like, whoa, what's a bridge? A bridge is a way for you to get assets from one chain. I'm on Ethereum, I want to go to BNB. I use a bridge to do that. The problem is that bridges are one of the top ways that hacks happen where people actually steal people's assets, right? There's a chart here, which is interesting. Check this out. The yellow is bridges. The blue is all other hacks, okay? So check out here, nearly 50% of everything that was taken here, <laughs> probably 80%. Maybe it's 75, right? No, it looks like about 80%. Uh, here, a significant amount was taken in here, of course, was the majority in quarter three, 2022. So bridges have been some of the biggest hacks that have taken place. And there's reasons for that. And this is where we're going to jump into what is layer zero. Here they talk about what the problems are. So the first of all, the most bridges are centralized providers. There's a collection of signatures. There's middle chain bridges. These are the vulnerable parts of these transfers, right? And that's where people are able to go in, you know, whether it's getting some keys or doing some other type of hack, they are able to manipulate the bridge and then grab the assets. What's the difference and what's the solution? First, so first of all, solution B is the immutable contracts, right? And then we also have down here their modular security. And I'm not going to read through all this. You can come back here to layer zero, click on their documents, and it'll take you all the way through here. This is the key part here, permissionless execution. So, of course, blockchain promises a decentralized future. Well, how do you have a decentralized future when the bridges that are being used are actually centralized, right? Right. That's from a decentralized, something from Ethereum, which is decentralized, to the bridge, which is centralized, to BNB, which is decentralized. So layer zero, and they, they're they already working with a ton of projects. We're going to look at that here in a second. This is not like, hey, they're just trying to figure this thing out. Um, there are a lot of projects that are already using this. As a matter of fact, if you ever use Stargate, that's one of the ways you qualify for the airdrop is to use the projects that are on their platform. And one of those is Stargate for transferring. So the idea behind this is, is that you'll be able to go from one chain to the next seamlessly without having to put your assets at risk. And again, it's completely permissionless. So in that decentralized nature. So let's go here. Uh, since it's launched in 2021, uh, bull market, 
Lager Zero has reached significant milestones, sending over 80 million messages through its protocol. Now, message is a transfer of data, right? The information, which is the transfer of a fund. So anytime I go there and use the bridge, it's basically passing messages. Its ecosystem has also grown to cover more than 80 dApps across different sectors, including DeFi, gaming, enterprise, and NFTs. Right now, they have connected with 50 chains, 50 chains, right? So that's incredible right here. See over 50 networks right here that they've connected with. That is absolutely incredible. Now, they don't have a token yet, but how do we know they are? As of now, there is no Layer Zero coin. But Layer Zero Labs has stated its intention to launch one in 2024. The team confirmed this via a post on X in December 2023 after months of speculation. What's more, the language in the announcement post was led to a belief that the token will launch through an airdrop. Decentralized mechanisms, the power of the people, the more people you can get the token in the hands of, holders, people that believe in the system, and that's the power of an airdrop. And remember, decentralized projects are not, hey, let me hold on to as much as we possibly can. The idea is to get the project out in as many hands as possible with the crypto. So let's jump back here and let's go to their ecosystem, okay? Because you're going to see here that it is substantial. As a matter of fact, it's a lot of the projects that you know of. If you're into crypto and you're trading and you're doing stuff, there are a significant amount of these projects. Um, so one of the first ones, of course, we talked about Stargate, right? Um, Shrapnel. This is going to be possibly one of the biggest games out here. Uniswap is using their technology. Ava is using their technology. Um, you can keep coming down. If you've watched Beam lately, right? This thing has been on a tear. Um, and of course, Beam integration, layer zero for a seamless bridge. So it gives you what they're using all of these for. Of course, the Aptos bridge uses layer zero. Another one of the things you'll want to do to qualify for the airdrop, right? Is use that. A core. Core has recently just absolutely gone on an amazing tear. It's been great to watch that token grow. Of course, uh, the Bitcoin bridge uses it here. Metis, Portal, um, the list goes on and on. You can come down here. I just did some stuff on Pendle. This is one of the projects that I just used to do some stuff. This is what I was trying to get uh, funds over on uh, Mantle for. Of course, Pancake Swap, the biggest B&B uh, chain that's out there. So you can see, guys, that this is a well-entrenched project that's out there. So if you look at something, uh, what is it? Uh, there's, you know, there's signs when there's success. And this is one of those signs that says, look, Harmony building on it. Layer 3 is building on it. Um, you know, it's absolutely amazing when you keep going. And you can keep going here. This is not, <laughs> you know, this is not towards the end yet, right? It just keeps on going. So... A lot of people building on it. So what builds the value on a chain? It's dApps being built on it. It's chains connecting with it. It's being able to handle massive numbers of transactions. And then, of course, generating revenue from those transactions. So, guys, we are excited about this project. Uh, we've actually, I've got wallets that I believe are qualified um, with DFY. It's the first airdrop we chose to do. We had a list of them to do. It was the first one that we chose to do because of the significance of it. Think about if a project was the entire backbone of, let's say, the internet, right? Or a big portion of the internet, every transaction that's going. How big? We know that governments and that type of stuff run and institutions run the internet, the current internet that we have. But think about project that's connecting eventually hundreds. It's 50 chains right now, 50 networks. But eventually it'll be hundreds because every time a new one is popping up, they're adding it, they're adding it, they're adding it, they're adding it. So think about the project, how valuable that token could be that represents the value of that project. What does that look like over the next year, two, five, 10, 15, 20 years? The CEO of BlackRock has said everything is going, every asset is going to be tokenized. If every asset is tokenized, then every trade of a stock, a bond, everything would need to go what? Through these chains. Every time creating a small transaction fee and imagine being a company that's picking up a little piece of that because you're making it seamless. I'm a BNB fan. I use BNB chain. You're an Ethereum fan. 
we can connect instantly, easily, and permissionless. That is a powerful tool. So if you like the content in this video, do me a favor, please like the video. And also please hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the ring the bell if you wanna get notified every time that we do a video. We're gonna be doing a video on ZK Sync. We believe there's an airdrop coming there. We're gonna do a video on scroll. We believe there's an airdrop coming there. It is going to be amazing. Uh, so we know the Bitcoin halving is very quickly approaching. I believe over the next year or two years during this possible bull run that's coming, I say possible, but it's probable, there are gonna be a lot of airdrops and they are going to give away. So we have a chart where between 2020 and 2024, over $21 billion was given away by 10 projects. Think about that. That was then, this is now, the functionality of Web3, of blockchain, of cryptocurrency is really coming, the utility. And think about this being the biggest run possibly ever. And then think about how many projects will be doing airdrops over the next 18 to 24 months. And that's why you want to get educated and learn about it. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Let's build a decentralized future by not just buying cryptos, but using the chains, transferring funds, moving things around, putting some money. And again, this is not financial advice, but finding projects that you do the research on in the DeFi space that you believe you can trust. Getting involved in gaming. All of us are using our phones to play different games, different things. Find a blockchain game that you like. Find other blockchain projects that you can dive into and become a part of, right? So thank you for joining us. Have a great night. And we look forward to seeing you on our next video. Having you watch our next video, I guess, is a better way to say it. Because you can see me, I can't see you. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon.